Hey guys, Mike Vasile here, and in this video, we're talking about how to start an online jewelry business, and more importantly, how beginners are earning $100 to $700 a day with this new interesting method. More of that after the intro. All right, guys, before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop where it's the fastest and the easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. So I remember starting like an online jewelry business back, you know, when I just left college and my sister was just starting college. It was a fun and interesting idea that I wanted to start because I literally saw companies like, for example, Pura Vita bracelets that literally did $68 million in 2018 alone, as well as like, companies that work with like influencers like Gymshark right here that literally did 175 million pounds in 2019. So in my mind, I just thought it was like a really cool life to you know make money online, to sell a bunch of physical products that I don't even have to see, and to work with influencers that were inspiring and had a bunch of cool things going on for themselves. I literally wanted to create like this, this little environment around me where it was like all of these cool things and these cool people would just like gravitate around me. And I literally thought like a jewelry business was actually the idea for so. You know, like I said, I was inspired by these guys, so I was like, okay, if they could create like a really cool community and culture around these bracelets, I could probably do the exact same thing. So there went my entire journey of starting an online jewelry business. And you know, there was a lot of pluses that I learned from it, and there was also a lot of bad things that I also want you to avoid, especially when it's first getting started. And this is literally the video that I wish I had when I was first starting, that would have saved me a lot of time and a lot of money because I made a bunch of mistakes. So the first thing that I really started doing was I was like, okay, I see these bracelets, right? They were going for like $10, $15, $20. I literally went to AliExpress and I typed in boho bracelets. And AliExpress is like a place where you could like connect with Chinese suppliers that literally make these bracelets. And as you guys can see, you could literally get them for like 66 cents or $1.84. And this is the exact same thing that you see also as here, right? Like I said, some of these are going for like 50 bucks, 30 bucks, 12 bucks. So I literally just started seeing the profit margin. Uh, but one of the biggest mistakes that I made when I was like sourcing the material is I just went and went straight to holding inventory right away. Now this is horrible, especially when you're first getting started because you don't know exactly which designs are gonna sell. Like with this, there's literally thousands of different designs and you don't know exactly what will do the best or not. Right, so like I said, when I first started, I literally bought a bunch of these products, I shipped them over to my place, and I was like, okay, now I have all of these like products, like literally hundreds and thousands of bracelets, and I was like, okay, now I just don't know exactly where to start. Oh, I have to try figuring out a way to sell these. And then, you know, we tried, you know, getting my sister and her friends to like model the bracelets and whatnot, and we were excited because we were like, oh my God, it's starting, it's starting, it's starting. But it was never really as successful as it could have been because I made a bunch of stupid decisions like buying a bunch of inventory which out without actually knowing which one would actually sell or not. So what I would have done if I were to like rewind and go back to that time was I would have started drop shipping these products. So how that would have worked is I would have just taken you know a couple of these pictures instead of getting hundreds of these different designs, I would have only just ordered one of each. So as you can see, these are like going for $1.43. Um, we have literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 14, 20. There's 20 different designs. What I was doing before is I was already buying like hundreds of each one of these individually, right? And because of that, you know, there was a lot of things that, you know, just like excessive jewelry that wasn't able to sell. What I would have done, like I said, is drop ship by just taking, buying one of each so that would only cost me like 10 or $15, have it shipped to my place, and what I would do at that moment is I would just focus all of my time on marketing. So taking nice Instagram pictures, taking nice videos, taking nice lifestyle shots, and just focusing on the branding of this like website, right? I would have then taken those pictures and got in like a Shopify store, which is like, um, it's where all of these big e-commerce companies are literally hosted on. But the thing about these Shopify uh, pricings, it's like very affordable to get started, right? Like you could literally start 14 days, no credit card required, and just test it out. And the really only plan that you need is like this basic Shopify thing. Now the reason why like Shopify works really well is because within five minutes, 
without having any tech savviness, without ever having to do anything online before, you could actually have your very own customized e-commerce site. Now, what I would do is all those pictures that I would have like literally taken on this, right? And these are personal pictures. I wouldn't just like go ahead and take this from like Chinese websites because you know you don't know like the copyrights that are already behind these and whatnot. Even though these pictures are already like pretty decent and whatnot. I would then upload all of those designs on here and put like a price point that is of course above like a dollar. So I would either charge it for like 10 bucks, 15 bucks, 20 bucks. And I would just put it on this website and see if I could actually make a sale. When I'm able to make a sale, I will literally take that money, go to, to this website in China and then just ship them directly from this website in the beginning, okay? Now you don't wanna do this long term because your customers are gonna hate you. They're gonna be like, why does it take so long to ship these products and whatnot? So you're just doing this for research to really find out which one of these designs will really do the best. And then, once you start you know, getting a bunch of consistent sales, which I'm gonna teach you exactly how, you're gonna notice that, oh, out of the 100 people that ended up buying, for example, last week, I noticed that 10 people bought this, one person bought this, you know, 50 people bought this, 30 people bought this, and 10 people bought that. So then you kind of know the ratios of how much people will more likely buy. You know that if you're gonna do buy something in bulk, to focus maybe most of your attention on this because 50 people out of the 100 bought this, while the other people kind of like bought, you know, all of these like random things. And then what I would do is literally go and buy these in bulk, and this is when you gotta focus on branding, okay? Because the thing about this is, one of the reasons why these ones and this ones literally do so much, like I'm talking about $68 million in revenue and $175 million in revenue, is because they have a strong brand. The next thing that I would do is literally look for like boxes or jewelry boxes or whatnot to literally buy. Because the thing about that is when you have jewelry boxes that you could like customize and snap like your own logo on it, it, it will be a lot more higher quality. Like these things right here, I know when we made a test order from like Pura Vita, they came in like these things right here. And then at that point, I'll literally go to Upwork, a place where you could literally hire graphic designers for, for very cheap. And then I'll just type in graphic designer. I would come in here, type in Philippines, because this is where you could get like a bunch of cheap work for you. And I would do hourly rate less than $10, right? I would literally hire one of these people to go and create like a custom logo for me. Kind of like how Pura Vita has like this thing right here. And I would literally put it on this thing that I would order from China, it would only be like another 80 cents or a dollar. And some of these people could actually put your own brand or logo on this, right? Because then when people open it, they're like, oh my God, it's so pretty. And there could be like all these unboxing experiences. What you wanna actually go ahead and create, this is very important for marketing, is unboxing experiences, right? So once you actually know that, for example, this is the product that does the best, you literally buy a bunch of these products, 100, 200, 500, right? It would only be like $500 at that point. And you want to also get as many of these as well. And now comes the point of marketing. Remember, after you go ahead and put your own logo on here, you know exactly that, okay, these are going to be like really high quality perceived experiences. With something like this, you could probably charge it for like 20 or 30 or $40 at that point. The next step that I would actually go ahead and do is just focus all on marketing. Now that you know exactly which one of these products sell, what I would do is finding like undervalued influencers that could literally sell my products for me for free, okay? One way that you could do is just type in like a niche. So for example, let's just do cat tips. Say I wanted to like sell cat jewelry and whatnot, right? I would literally go and find somebody that has a bunch of views, so this 600,000 views, and only 3,000 subscribers. What that tells me is these people enjoy making content about the certain subject, but they're also not getting paid because they have very little subscribers. I would literally go up to Shopify and then create like what is known as a coupon code and then give them a coupon code and basically make them a deal saying, hey, whoever goes through your coupon code, I will literally give you 50% of all of my profits. Now think about this, you know, when you're selling things for like $20 that costs you $2 to make, right? You have a lot of room to pay people that have the attention, especially if they're not making any money. And you're probably wondering why would this actually work? Well, that's exactly, how Pura Vita, an e-commerce business, and Gymshark, an e-commerce business, made so much money, it's because they tapped into influencers. And the thing that I don't realize, especially with a lot of jewelry people, is there's literally people that you can follow that have all these views, but they don't know how to make money, that this could be your making money extension for them. For example, this e-commerce website partners with all these YouTube influencers and helps them create like t-shirts, 
and uh, hoodies and iPhones and like mugs and hats and whatnot. But you could literally do the exact, and all of these people literally do drop shipping. They literally get a supplier to go ship it out and they just turn into the marketing branch of these people. You could be literally the business and the money making branch of these influencers that will literally sell your products for free because when you give them a specific coupon code from this, in your Shopify back office, you could see exactly which influencer is making you the most money strictly because of that's how much revenue was made from the coupon codes that you just literally give to all of these influencers guys. And when you're able to do this, you could tap into a hundred million dollar strategy that's working for all these huge e-commerce businesses as well as jewelry businesses. But remember, the first step is drop shipping in the beginning because you need to be very critical with how much capital you are spending and investing. You can't just like blow money left and right like you have millions of dollars just blow and invest in because that's how a lot of businesses fail. You need to be very strategic and the best way to do so is by starting off drop shipping these products so you know exactly which one of these products will actually do the best. And if you need any drop shipping tutorials, you can check out some of the free links below. But that being said, hopefully this helps guys. If you want a faster and easy way to make money online, check out the free workshop below. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and listen to this uh, podcast that I recorded of all these interesting people that live here in Bali that make millions of dollars while traveling in the world. With that being said, I love you guys. I'll see you guys later. You.